Okay, I'm gonna start off by showing the tag, which you can see it was built in uh, 1974. Wait. <clears throat> yada yada. And I have a cover on it right now and I don't really want to take it off because it's hard to get back on. And I will take as much video as I can to show you. <coughs> the previous person I got it from was putting it in a ceiling before fixing the roof. So I started tearing it back out. Uh, from what I can tell, it just looks like there is issues around the unit, the air conditioning unit. He said it works, but I have really no idea. And this is where something else was at one point. Um, the windows, they still seem like they're in good condition and the uh, pulleys that open them still work. Uh, I believe they really just need a, a, a new seal on them and they would be perfectly fine. They have some laminate down. There's no soft spots from what I can tell. It's an original sink. They started tearing out the rest of the stuff in here and I don't know what they were thinking. They even started painting it white, which is horrible. But anyway, I try to rescue it. <clears throat> this one's a little bit different. Most of them, um, the styles, this is in particular a, an, um, kind of a rare one because mostly they're built with the bathrooms in the back. In this case, it's actually a bathroom on the side, um, which is interesting. The toilet seems newer, in good condition. The shower actually seems like it's in really good condition too. I don't know how much you can see of this. Um, and it still has fans. Some of the mirrors and stuff, I, I actually have them. They're just under my carport right now. I got them out of the way. These latches are really clever. And I really like them. Hopefully they are still made like that. But all metal doesn't get brittle and break and still working perfectly since 1974. Um, from what I could tell, this is actually still original for what that's worth. Um, as far as damage, like water damage, let me find a spot. It's like this. You can tell, and it's right around the windows. Um, the only thing I could really think to do is tear it out and redo it. I don't know. Maybe you'll know more than me. Um, but the insides. Um, Some original equipment. Anyway, this 
still kind of needs a lot of work, but there's a lot of stuff that would is easily survivable um, considering I really actually think it's in good shape. There was, you could tell some cleaning up that has to be done where there's wasp nests or dirt dauber. It's okay. Shh. And yeah, I'm not sure exactly what originally came in there. This would be a really good spot for a refrigerator. And for the most part, it's in good shape. See, I was actually starting to tear out this paneling and see what I was working with. And it's right under the windows even. So mostly that's where the damage is. And and the swell and the damage is this this swelling look. Um, and that person started painting it white, like that was gonna fix it. Uh, but the floors look good. Need to be redone for sure, but solid. And still has all the lights. Nothing's been broken off. Oh, but this is what I was talking about with uh, dings and stuff. Someone apparently wasn't too careful. It's a little bit on the other side too. A little bit. Uh, the siding really actually looked really good. Sorry if I'm shaking a lot. Um, I wish I could take this off and be able to get it back on, but I really don't know that I would. Um, the tires are in good condition. They have a lot of tread on them. Uh, I was able to get from Gilmer, Texas just fine. Here we go. And if I, if my memory serves me right, I think there's also another ding on one of the top corners, but uh, don't hold me to that. But I believe there is. Nothing looked too major. Uh, you can have this cover. I don't need it. Um, it's kind of cool storage and all, all the lights seem to be in place and yeah but I think those leaks are coming from seals around the windows if that were my guess. Good tires on this side too. <clears throat> um, every once in a while, hold on, give me a minute. There's dings like this, and I had a dent person tell me that they'd be easy to get out. Uh, they're kind of sporadic. I guess it was in a hell storm once upon a time. I actually have a picture of it where it originally stood. I'll have to dig it up and show you. In pretty good condition. Let me see if I can get it under here. <clears throat> okay. And you know, it is what it is. It's an older trailer. But really, it seemed like it did pretty good. 
there's no like sagging. Um, you can see by there. <clears throat> I don't know a ton. I didn't really get to dig into this project too much. But this is some kind of, I guess, um, water pan. Like gray water, I'm assuming. But it dips down a little further. But yeah. Christ, Ethan. And front. So how's the gray paintings? And yeah. Major resting around here, which got. It's aluminum, which is nice. And really overall, it's in great condition. Just wasn't the uh, person who inherited it didn't know what they were doing, unfortunately. And that's who I rescued it from. And if you have any questions, let me know.